computer is one of the most expensive back-to-school items. Now, whether your budget is $300 or $1,500, there is something out there for everyone. Here with a few options is tech expert Mark Salzman. Hey. Nice to have you here this morning. Thanks. I know a lot of folks are going to be buying, going out to buy computers. Not mm -hmm. a lot of time left before school. And if I'm noticing any kind of trend, it's... Everything's getting smaller. Things are getting a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And we're going to look at four different categories. Tablets, netbooks, laptops, and desktops, and talk about the strengths of each. Now, I, gra mm -hmm. I'm i gravitating towards this. <laughs> You're not alone. Everybody loves Love the, the iPod. The iPod. Uh, iPad. Seamus just bought one, and he's been telling mm -hmm. me how wonderful they are. Is this good for school? So I think it's better for older students, you know, those who are mobile, you know, college, university. They're running from lecture hall to lecture hall. There are apps that record lectures, you can type on it, it's got a soft screen 10 inch keyboard and then there's this dock down here for 79 bucks that lets you, when you're in one place for a while, you can type using a physical keyboard. But it's got, yeah, there's tons to do with it, there's a quarter of a million apps to download. You just um, need to get used to the fact there's no physical keyboard. Um, but it's a great alternative uh, to a laptop for older students. I wouldn't want to give one to say someone in grade four. No. Um, so definitely, uh, the iPad, by the way, retails between five forty nine and eight seventy nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and next up, netbooks. Is this, this is also this. a trendy category: smaller, portable, and more affordable. We're looking at the Dell Inspiron Mini uh, Ten Twelve. It's uh, okay. only two seventy nine. So these are smaller keyboards. So as long as you're okay with the smaller keyboard, they're great on battery life. Good for good, little hands. And good for basic tasks like writing Word documents, email, and surfing the net. If you're trying to do anything more, you're going to want to upgrade to a laptop. Okay. Which leads us to this Toshiba Satellite T230 laptop for uh, $700. So this is a 15-inch uh, a laptop that has desktop-like power. Uh, so it is ideal for older students as well. And this is a true PC, unlike the tablet or the netbook. This has, you know, a, D a DVD drive, and it's got uh, more horsepower for things like shooting video and uploading it to the internet, things like that. So it's uh, also got a full-size keyboard, which is more comfortable to use. And it's funny, I have a Toshiba laptop, but, mm. and it does all of these things, but mine's bigger. They're getting yeah, smaller. Yeah, that's right. So you can get them from typically 13 to 18 inches. A uh, rule of thumb, however, is that the bigger the screen you go, the faster it'll drain the battery and the heavier the laptop will right. be. So the sweet right. spot's a good 15.6 inches. So these are great portable options, right. but what about... The so, computer for home. So the desktop computer isn't dead. It is a slowly shrinking category. We're just seeing new form factors. Here we've got the Mac Mini. Look how small that is. That's the tower of today. And this is uh, for uh, 750 Or you can go as big as a 23-inch uh, HP TouchSmart 600 here that has a 23-inch touchscreen. So it does come with a wireless mouse and keyboard. Nice. Let me just come around for a moment. This is a true desktop, but it's all in one. So the computer is built into the monitor, and as you can see, it's also a touchscreen computer. So it's uh, pretty wild, and, and it's really fast. It plays Blu-ray disc movies, great for gaming, uh, and this is about 1900 So it's more on the high end for those who don't need a portable computer. Unreal. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so let's just go through age-wise. Would you recommend this for older students? Yeah, so and definitely tablets for high school to university students. Netbooks, uh, again, high school, um, where you don't need too much power. You just want to write down what the teachers are saying. Laptop is really for anyone, um, but uh, again, inching towards college, university, where, where you want portability and wireless connectivity. Right, a little heavier for And some. then desktops are more ideal for the younger set for a couple of reasons. One, you want to keep an eye on where your kids are going online. It's recommended you put you a go. desktop in a highly trafficked area of the home and less prone to damage because you can't drop it. Love it. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks, Colleen.